Hey Train fam, today we're going to be reviewing this beautiful Lionel Legacy ES44, Norfolk Southern Pennsylvania Heritage. This beautiful locomotive is an icon in real life and in the model world. Come along with me right now on Real Toy Trains. Hey Train fam, I just want to make a tiny little announcement. We're so close to 3,000 subscribers. So if you wouldn't mind, give this video a like, a thumbs up, whatever it takes, and a nice subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get, the more I want to make cool content for you guys. So think about subscribing. All right, let's get back to the video now. When Norfolk Southern announced its heritage program during March of 2012, it was the most far-reaching nod to railroad history ever put together by a major Class 1 system. When all was said and done, the Norfolk Heritage units totaled 20 locomotives sporting classic paint schemes of bygone fallen flags, from the classy Southern Railway to the ill-fated Penn Central. Perhaps even more remarkable is that these liveries were not inspired by the companies that created them, but true authentic representations of actual paint schemes their locomotives wore back in the day from Redding's Catchy Bee service to Pennsylvania's Regal Tuscan Red featuring Cat Whiskers gold pinstripes. And as for the front of this model, you're going to see that it's got a kinematic pilot, so it moves independently from the truck, as does the coupler. You're also going to see it's got beautiful painted MU hoses, a nice plow, two ditch lights that do flash when you blow the horn, Stairs, separately applied grab irons. Up top here, it's painted black. Nice windshield wipers. Number boards that are lit. The sand fill. A safety chain. Coming to the side of the locomotive, you're going to see that the pinstriping going down is just flawless. You're going to see a builder's plate. The little F in the front, that means front. The windows look great. The little visor right there looks great. Everything on this model is just outstanding. And running down the side, you're going to see the 8102 is just beautiful with the little NS below it. The Pennsylvania is crisp and flawless. The fuel tank looks great. Heading to the back of the locomotive, you're going to see it's got an awesome operating headlight. The Pensy sign looks great. The pinstripe does wrap around. It's got a safety chain. The walkways do have safety tread. A kinematic pilot in the back. It's got MU hoses and a couple of cut bar. On the top of the locomotive, you've got AC units up top, a nice horn. The smokestack is painted silver. The fans do spin if you blow down on them. Great looking up here. Here's another shot of the top. You can see I've got some fingerprints on the paint. This paint is so shiny. It looks so good. I'm going to have to remember to wipe those off. Taking the engine cover off, you're going to see there's a volume pot, run program switch, Odyssey on and off, and smoke on and off. This model also has two powerful motors. The engine cover snaps on just like that. Okay, let's get 8102 fired up. Dispatcher, do you copy? Roger that. I read you. Over. Very good. Start up and hold. Copy that. Ready to start this trip. Out.
Okay, train fam, that is going to about wrap it up. I think this is one of the most beautiful ES44s Lionel has ever done. I'm actually more of a fan of an EMD locomotive. I love all the SD series, but I do have another ES44 in my roster, as you'll see here. But again, I cannot stress how beautiful this locomotive is. I know it's kind of rare. I'm so glad I got it in my roster. Once again, just want to say thanks so much for watching this video. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be happening. Thanks again, train fam. We'll see you next time on Real Toy Trains.